So when I drilled the hole for this socket, the drill wandered off a little bit and I was always a bit concerned when I did the boring operation about whether or not that uh, boring bar would be stiff enough to um, bring the hole back to uh, true. And as it turned out, it wasn't. And uh, so in this uh, short video, I show him recovering from that. So when I did my uh, female NT40 tape, I would like to have used this fella. But um, it was too big to, uh, to fit uh, and do the job. But now that um, the taper is at least, shall we say, roughed out, um, I previously thought it was finished, but I'm going to see whether it's uh, gone off line a little bit. Uh, I think if I grind this back with a bit of a 10 degree taper, uh, up the front end there it might just fit in uh, to finish the job out um, without being uh, pushed out of line too much anyway we'll give it a try and see what happens right well that's given it uh, that's given the end of the bar a good tickle with the belt sander that is going to do a bit of a trial and see whether it uh, will fit Okay, so I saved just enough off the back side of the boring bar that it will in fact now go to full depth. So we'll take a very light skim cut down through there and see if that uh, cleans anything up. and he hasn't left a very smooth cut so I'm actually wondering whether I'd drifted off centre off centre height well there's two things to worry about the first thing is whether the taper is true and concentric um, and then secondly surface finish so, Well, the fit feels pretty good, even if the surface finish is not crash hot. Okay, so I've finished uh, trying to true up the uh, the female NT40 bore in my uh, adapter here, my uh, socket. That's the best of my NT40 um, purchased NT40 collet chucks. This is um, a, um, a precision ground test bar for aligning tail stocks. It's a 17 mil diameter. So um, first up, oh, so what I want to test first up is the alignment of the two tapers, the taper in here with the taper in there. So we'll run uh, across the length of the bar. So let's just swing around a little bit here. Um, run the length of the bar and see what variation we get. Uh, it's not very much, is it? Not even 0.01, which over that distance is pretty astounding. All right, let's rotate the chuck 90 degrees and see what difference that makes. Well, the needle hasn't moved a lot, has it? Well, I'm staggered. <laughs> yeah, well, what can I say? Couldn't ask for better. Let's just rotate the chuck a bit. And we do see a little bit of run out, so I'm not sure why that didn't show up with the, the other test that I've just done. But in any case, it's about 0.01, which I'm pretty happy with. Oh, okay, now I understand why it didn't show up. The... Um, the, te the first test I did checked the, um, the alignment of the two tapers. This is checking the uh, concentricity of the bar in the collet, and there's a little bit of uh, variation there. 
no, three fifths of sod all really. So I'm pretty happy with all of those readings and I'm going to call the NT40 female socket uh, accurate enough to be useful and put into service so that's really good. So to use it all I've got to do is put it in the fore jaw and um, true it up on the outside and I'm good to go. So this is obviously is the root cause of the problem I had when I made the my ER40 chuck in the first place. There was a problem with the bore in this which transferred itself to the uh, alignment of the two tapers on the ER40 well on the on the collet chuck that I made. So problem fixed. <laughs>